Hey, legends, uh, we are heading to Perth. So if you're in Perth, uh, Thursday, the 13th of July, we'll be at the Camfield doing our show, watching the footy first, and then we'll be launching into our show. Friday night we're there as well, but that one's sold out. So if you are in Perth and you want to be there, what are you going to expect? Oh, to mate, a bit of song. I'm making a bit, couple of songs. I've got a quiz, a kick-ass quiz That's here ready to go. It's going to be very good. So, good. fantasy, beers, what more do you want? Might even sneak in a few vessels, yeah. Yeah, we Why might. Not? Not? Yeah. Why not? All right, let's get into the podcast. Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders. Thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warnie. Coach of the Wondogs. And Calvin. Coach of the Mighty Calvin. Ah. Yes, he remains up and about now. Doesn't he? That was a massive scoring round. And you may have noticed that he scored pretty well. And went backwards. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what a lot of people experience. It was amazing. Because there were some thumping scores 2, out there. Twenty five hundred is par. We're in a bit of trouble. Twenty five hundred is par. Do you know what? That's well done to us. I think we yeah, have yeah, just yeah. got the community so good. Yep. That now we just good. can't keep up with them. Well, that's it. They're too good. We coached them too well. <laughs> can't catch them. So that was our first week out of the buys, which was obviously a nice thing for some of us. However, I was going. Yeah, I like. The buy's being done. <laughs> Best 18 would have been. I nice know. Again. Wouldn't that have been Wouldn't nice? Wouldn't it? We just had, I don't know, the dramas, the issues yeah. of uh, each week where there's a couple of players that let you down. And if you could drop those scores off, yep. it would have been nice. Actually, the third trade would have been quite handy last week as well. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> we're back into our normal swing of things. Nine games. We'll have a chat about some of the th- learnings from those on the weekend um, as we now only have eight weeks left to go. Thank season. God. So if you're playing, yeah. that's two thirds of the way through. God. 24 rounds. Feels Cows, more than that. Done. Feels more than that. I'm thinking about not even going on the end of season trip with my oh. players. I don't like them. Really? I don't There's like them. There's a few them. that don't okay. no. an invite, I think. Um, mm. So if you're playing the traditional league formats where you've got a best eight or a final eight yep. at the end of the season, four weeks left to make those make the eight. Oh, jeez. I reckon I'm and on the edge of a couple of them. There. <laughs> and then, obviously, the four weeks of finals. So that's uh, where we are for that. But let's talk about... Our teams and how we went. And, Calvin, you can start because okay. you are the man. Well, and I have been for quite some time, Roy, if yeah. you haven't noticed. Yeah. yeah. And Warnie said to me last week, look, it's not about how you play the buys, it's how you come out after the buys. Yes. Correct. Well, geez, as the king puts back on his crown, <laughs> I have the biggest score for the week, which was below par. <laughs> it sounds massive. It's a bogey. Right, but it's still uh, 2440 is what I got, and yeah. I slipped by you know 50 or 60 odd ranking uh, results there. But uh, yeah, yeah okay. 2440. My buy strategy, where I was trying to hit a few sixes, well, it hasn't quite paid off. No, but it's not awful. But it's not awful. Not awful, Roy, as I sit here on my throne. So 2440, Roy, 30 points behind. With a 2410. <laughs> it's a mile behind, Roy. <laughs> I am going to hammer you this week, I you can, now, Okay, we can say that. Well, I can. The second week after the buys is where everyone was. Is that where exactly right? <laughs> I can't believe you have come out after being so reckless through the buys. And to, that's, that's a word to use, yeah. So I, was. I slid um, a little bit as well, just outside the top 4,000 now, so I need to go to work this week. Can't I'm, be out I'm, there. I'm coming no, for you. No, you're not. I'm coming no, for you. Not. You wait. Don't be stupid. Eight weeks. Six eight weeks. points behind Roy with a 24. 404. So still getting the 2400 club and slid backwards. Um, 13,600. What are we doing out there? I don't know. It's a long way. Know. It God. is a long way back from there. Here it is! That's what you did, Jenny. You stuck it right up them. Uh, Cow? Oh, just my boy. My boy Which Dawson. One? Yeah. <laughs> It's my boy Dawson. Um, that you've had for a fortnight. No. <laughs> Dog, it's more complicated From a than sideways that. tray. It's more complicated <laughs> than that. Uh, when the sick dog can turn into the door dog, mm. then you know you're on a winner here. So he's been my captain a few times in these... Uh, a few times? Yeah, he has. He has. 100% Once. he has. No, this week and maybe a couple of weeks ago. Yep. You sure? Mate, I know captains. <laughs> and I definitely know my own. Uh, so 136... <laughs> Uh, in a very good matchup, you're starting to be distruthful, like other captain. No, I'm there. definitely not. <laughs> so he was my number two on the list, and I was very confident with him, and very confident with Bontempelli. I couldn't split them, 
And of course, I got it the right way. <laughs> so, you know, not boy, only that four colour pen. Not only, well, look, I've got two now, dog. I oh. never, they never leave my side. And at the moment, I'm doing my notes. And already, look at that, Roy. Multiple oh. colours. Already. Oh, you're on this week. Yeah. So expect big things now that I have uh, my four colours back. But my top ten captains, dog, just shows that I'm. My form on and off the field here is elite. It's can, top draw. Can you start personally backing in the your own captains that you put on yes. your Calvin's captains list? What? what do you mean? Oh, you just switch and flick around. No, no, yeah. no. And while I've got a little, you do. I've got a little bone to pick with the uh, W dog in a minute too. Oh, do you? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll give okay. my plus three to. <laughs> One of your boys, Cow. My boy, another boy. Brad another Crouch. Boy. Hey, I said... Only for two weeks. A few club. weeks ago. I Having said... 125 or something for Every him. question is going to be answered with Brad Crouch. Why didn't you tell him to make me my captain? Uh, he was on the list. He was on the list. And the way you pick your captain is, you just walk down my list there and go, oh, you'll do, right? It's more complicated <laughs> than that. I'll explain that in a minute. I'm All just right. having a year where I've checked out like you normally do at no. a point of the season. <laughs> Definitely not. You're, You're on for this point of the season. I am, and this is my time. You seem really, yeah, alert. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, your plus three. I was in that coffee. Um, my plus three, Wanganine Miller. What? Oh, get stuffed. It's the story of it. Tell him. Get Tell stuffed. Him. Go on. Go, Go on, Roy. Tell him, Roy. <laughs> okay. He was a laughing stock at three-quarter time Roy, and yep. well-deserved. Like, what are you doing with him in your team, Roy? However, he's chased the poor old dog down. He got him. The green vest was mine. It was. And Wanganine Miller, in the last quarter, he had over 40. And in the last five minutes, I think he had 30 of them. But the most important, <sighs> the most important <laughs> prior what to a late update was when, what's his name? Cripps for yeah. West Coast. Yep. Missed a sitter yep. of a goal. So he's pushed it to the left. My boy. Yep. And trying to rush it, trying to have some time so they could try to get another goal. (sighs) He's run 50 metres, sprinted harder than his GPS would have blown up. Yep. That's the fastest he's run all game. Taking the kick out with two seconds left, stepped outside the box. Brilliant. Kick. It got me ahead of the dog. Yep. That's plus three every day of the week. Every day of the week. Saved his score, beat the dog. It should be plus six. (laughs) Should be right. It should be. (laughs) But. The good thing is that I don't have him in my team this week, and you do. <laughs> it was the most disgraceful display I've ever seen. Because it's just not acceptable. I'll start. Please do, because we've got a lot to talk about. My yeah. captain. Okay, who was? That you recommended to me oh, I think to I have. Number five on the list. Yeah, Thanks. keep going. Thanks, Cow. Number five on the list doing that to Rory me. Laird. If I had, actually, if I had anyone else, I would have beaten both of you peanuts. You had <laughs> options. Actually, if I had have had Why any other that? player yep. that would have been in my captain contention, it's funny because I would if, have been the highest scorer. If we were <laughs> playing if we were playing best AD, Jeez. that might not have counted. Sheasel. <laughs> yeah. Sheasel. Um why didn't you have English? He was ahead of him on my rankings. Um, because your flags that you threw up about him. What flags? In fact, he had 129 against Darcy early in the year. Don't you tow the company line Darcy anymore? and Jackson. <laughs> well, Jackson's one that... Jeez, we'll really talk about it. Oh, right. well, my goodness. As a combination of late. Yeah. <sighs> I but just didn't do it. I probably should have done. Just back me in, dog. Back me in. When you you didn't cap- have your four colour pen last week. That's true. I that didn't. That is another factor. I didn't, but I was coming off. And your form's been bad. No, it's you been- reckon it's been good. <laughs> it has, but it has been bad. Look, it's as good. No, as one you- of these other young upstarts out there that are taken on young Team Cowboys. They don't have a degree. <laughs> no, in your defence, I'll just say they a lot of the well, as you call them, upstarts. I don't even call them that, but yep. They, experts. Experts. Not they, experts. <laughs> they split the Laird Dawson. You were solo. You were the only one going Dawson over Laird. Oh, did they that. go the other way? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> do, do they so research? an extra 50 points. Do they research that? or just go, oh, that'll do? Probably. You, oh, don't well, get, you said the other day you think they probably look at your list and Let's then just flick it and not forget no, no, no. that your number one pick was no. Tim Taranto this week. Oh. <laughs> he I, scored 80. Okay. He I, played a full game. No, he stuffed no. his ton run up, ton run up yep. just to probably go at you. You know what? And I felt I was pressured into that. Yes, yeah, so yeah, do I. I was pressured into yeah, making that number you one. Why did you there. make him number one? 
Um, the two S's, safety ceiling, right? And that's why <laughs> Dawson, that's why Dawson was ahead of Laird, safety ceiling. He's got the ceiling, he's got the safety. What's he done to his safety? Taranto now. Where's Taranto going to be on your list this week? Uh, well, he plays on Thursday night. Will you make him your VC? He has to be everyone's VC. Does he? Oh, I'm yet to crunch the numbers, dog, but I'm tipping he probably does. How can you go, how can you make someone your VC that scored 80 last week? Because he's back at the MCG. Okay. I'll, I'll work it out later and we'll talk about it Thursday night. Mm. I'll, I'll work it out, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm not just your normal upstart captain picker here. <laughs> Wait for someone else we to do the research. We just sit back and go, oh, Cow, what have you done here today, mate? Oh, yeah, I'll make my order out of that. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> More complicated than that, Warren. You know it is. So at the end of the day, you failed to tow the company line. You're in the green vest. You should be embarrassed with yourself. I am embarrassed. <laughs> because right. if I'm getting beaten by you at any stage of the season, let alone in the back half when you've normally checked out. I'm saying not even beaten, but flogged. You're being you beat flogged. me by... Me was... the... You beat me by 34 points. That's a lot. He was disinterested, wasn't he? That's a lot. Yeah, it was. Good matchup. My negative three is going to a guy. I think I've given it to him before. He's, he's had You've got to trade him. He's getting You've up there. You've got to trade him. Is. It's Hayden Young. What is he doing? Not footballing well, as well as you'd like him. 83. Do. What happened to your ponytail rule? How did yeah. he end up in your team? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot about that rule. Yes. You've got to read your rules. Yeah. We How about you tow the company line then? of these, these <laughs> rules that you've got? You've team got rules. A, that's... No ponytails, yeah. no rangers, and I've got Rao in there as well. <laughs> Have you still got Rao? And not this way. So you beat me with Rao. <laughs> no, no, yo. And yeah. he was back in the... Yeah. We need to read the rules. You're spot on. I don't... Yeah, I've slipped. <laughs> yeah. I've slipped. But I've got the 30K club on my back, Roy. Yeah. And we're up into the 10. You're getting them in there. Yeah, we You're are. not into the 10 yet. We get this way. <laughs> we're, no, we're, we're at the door knocking. You are knocking. But the other 10 won't let us in. No. <laughs> There are, then I'm, well, I'm in there, and they're not a nice bunch. I could imagine. No, brutal they're horrible. Um, now, mine went to, and look, I'm not angry at them. I'm just disappointed. But okay. I became a little bit complacent, um, just expecting the hundreds from these two that they've been giving me. But for Briggsy and Hull Cameron to pump out 50s at this time of year, completely unacceptable, disappointing. And they have to have the trigger pulled on them for that. They do. You've got to go now. Too right. Thanks very much for what you've done. It's been an outstanding ride. See you later. Your services are no longer required. Go on. All right. The winner of the week. Is it me? 24s we had. Oh, don't. 2662. 2662. Jed. 2662. Jed, why make everyone feel so <laughs> crap? Does that make you feel good about oh, yourself? Yes, it would. I reckon. So, <laughs> dominated there for round 16, pumping out that. Just scores all round, made Jordan Dawson his VC. No, so no he worries, Jed. He didn't listen to Calvin's captains. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, he would have gone VC on Toronto? No, he didn't. Who did he go? Dawson. VC'd on Dawson, like I just said. Mm. How about you listen to yeah. yeah, those grommets working? You're right. You ago. got bullied into that VC. I did, but he's also he's chasing he's chased one of the S's there, which was ceiling. Yeah, so, and that's not bad. You can do that. He's yeah. had some good scores across the board. Yeah, just and nothing that looks outside of the norm in his team no. either. Like some look of vanilla scores. team, does it? Yeah. Well, poor scores are the the pods. Mitch Duncan with an eighty six. Yeah. Oh, like you know, okay. like him sitting there. God. Oh, man, we're all trying our best, and he's just pumping out 260 on us. Mm. Yeah, that's there you good. Go. Well uh, so at the top of the table, I think this is the first time I've seen Darren's team up there. He added 2597. Happy with that. That's yeah. Um, the Wise Ocean Pods is sitting on top with Fleabaggers moving to second spot now. A um, couple of other familiar faces up there. Uh, we've got, they've been sitting in the top 10. So Dr. Drill, Steen seems to move down to sixth. Looking at uh, Will Schofield, looking back at his profile picture there. Motra Marvel's at seventh. Oh, no, um, he's sliding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cole Matt, you'll be right. Get back up there, mate. And, yeah, so that's where that Look. is at now. And the top 100, oh, if yeah. you want to make the top Got 100. Got me interested now, dog. <laughs> you're a long way off. That's all I'm going to say. It's done. <laughs> all right. They are the top Scores mm. for the week. You can check those out by clicking on the rankings as we go through those. The cash cow of the year, the votes for round 16. We start with Harry Sheasel, fresh off the bye. Harry Sheasel picked up where he left off with 106 and five votes. Uh, he's getting plenty of the ball in that back half roll. 
Four Half votes. Roll, even. Yeah, four votes go to Will Ashcroft. So he it's had good. a big 95 point game to open that round 16 and it left his owners very happy, especially ones considering a bit of a loop option with him. And he plays the Eagles this week. Mm. Uh, Angus Sheldrick, not just a buy round specialist like myself there, dog. Angus <laughs> Sheldrick gets the three votes after increasing 95,000 off the back of his 93 points. 87 points from Matthew Johnson gets in the two votes and he's staking his claim as one of the most important mid season cash. Cows. Finally, one vote for Darcy Wilmot for his 87. Yeah. So he's going to provide very handy bench cover for the run home. Sheldrick has moved into third with 14 votes, but on that leaderboard, as we can see, she's on 57, Wapping and Ashcroft on 33 votes. Now, a couple of people have asked how we split the votes when they have the same score. Okay. So what... I do. Really genius move. Yeah. Now I go back to the last three games, Yeah, what they've scored. Now, do you know Johnson and Wilmot have scored exactly the same points in the last three games? Unbelievable. So I made it four. We've yeah. got MJ. He got up. Johnson got up on that one. Smart. Yep. Here's the news of the week you need to know on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. All right, the news, the big one that we'll be watching this week, and it happened last Thursday was Josh Dunkley. <laughs> so, he was subbed at three-quarter time. Yes. Now, the Lions were, don't worry, he's okay and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Bit of ice on that calf. Mm. And where the smoke, there's probably a little bit of a strain mm. or something. Well, there's going something going on. Something. And the other thing is, he only plays West Coast this week. Mm. Yeah. So Now, this is the thing. Yes. This is the issue. They're at home. If it was in Perth, yep. I think we might be having a little bit more of a concern. Yeah. But these are the quotes from him. Basically, Dunkley said he felt a bit crampy. Crampy. Okay. I've felt a bit crampy when I've busted a calf before. You mm. felt a bit crampy this morning. I heard you down in the toilet, dog. <laughs> I'll give you a hot tip. You fixed that pretty quick. <laughs> now, Fagan said it was a corky. <laughs> corky? Hang on. So, are they not corky. even communicating properly here? No. I don't know. This makes more smoke. Mixed messages. Yeah. I saw him um, at the start of the third quarter as he ran back um, to his position, and he wasn't running comfortably. Oh. You could see it was an issue, his yeah, crampiness, yeah. Yeah. and then obviously got treated throughout that third quarter before getting subbed. The eye test obviously <laughs> confirmed that there is something serious going wrong. Now, they play Saturday, so it's a couple of extra days break. Mm. Mm. <sighs> and What's it's the at gut the feel? So I've got fish onto it. Yeah, okay. but he doesn't get to see them train until tomorrow. Right. So Gosh. it's going to be a big watch. So by if Thursday night, we'll know, I reckon. Okay, if he's out, do you trade? Jeez. Possibly. If you've got Sheldrick as your cover, cover, you could roll with that. Yeah, yep. probably. But once again, Sheldrick plays on Thursday night at so that 720 game. Hmm. Well, you can have a look. You're going to have to, yeah, you could have and a look. And then you could trade if it's no good. You're probably, yeah. Now, where do we sit with all this looping that's going on? We might talk about that in a bit. We'll get through the news first. I'm not comfortable with it. (laughs) Jaden Short, he hurt his hammy early in that game. Now, he's looking like he's going to gain DPP as well. So, that'll be happening next week. So, this time next week, we'll be chatting about the new dual position players in the third and final rollout of those. Dusty in that game was a laid out from illness. So, then the rumours were flowing. The sniffles. Yes. Um, Taranto had the sniffles. The codra on the plane. Well, someone gave well, you that. I know. 80, and you still told us all to make him our VC. He was crook as a dog. He was crook as a dog, yeah. <laughs> Flu game. Flu game, all right. Flu game, um, no good. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Chad Warner, so he was named out and most people traded him out, but um, it was a calf, so it's probably going to be a couple of weeks there for him. Like Dunkley. Jordan Butts. Uh, Concussed, so he'll be out this week for the Crows. Now, Jack Zeevil had a couple of little knocks, but one of them there was a corked hammy. So, mm. be interested to see how he pulls up from that because, you know, he's getting an old man. He's probably yep. needs a rest. He only had a rest last week, though. Um, and they've got Aaron Hall that mm. could just come in and that is very true. play that God, role. he throws himself around he back does. there, the bull. He does. <laughs> bit now, reckless. Bull and China shot. <laughs> Fifey, he's, he was subbed out, and they said it was a flare-up of his foot. Uh, that's not good. That was the no. one that was um, Need that. kept him out for a significant part of mm. the season to start with. Braden Maynard, he was a bit banged up. Shoulder earlier in the game, and then um, he was iced up in the last quarter with a bit of a knee knock. 
Uh, Bailey Fritch, he was subbed super early in that game. Very with early. Knee. And Brad Hill, looked like he was game he over. He did, didn't it? Mm. And then came back on, which is good. So we'll see where that goes, but he will be right. Um, battle, he was subbed out with it. A head knock as well. MRO, only the one here, and that comes from Lincoln McCarthy. So that was on the Thursday. Probably should be staying across this. Have the Lions um, we, uh, challenge it? Because I think it was like a Monday morning they had until... Look, Lincoln- we haven't talked about the stink for years. Yeah, and that's the thing. If anyone out there has Lincoln McCarthy in their teams... Remember we used to talk about him yeah, a but, lot. Yeah. So the, the reason cash cow, wasn't he? being for that... And hang on, I was just going to have a look here. Have, have a bit of a screw, Dog. Should have looked at this before, but um, I don't think anyone's too worried no. about it. Anyway, the reason being is because Kai Loman could be the one that comes in. So okay, so the right. Magoo's news out of that for anyone that has <laughs> Kai Loman, um, because he could even be that red dot that you need to do your looping with. That's the other side true, of it. True. Um, <clears throat> he's got a ninety-nine in the. VFL on the weekend. A couple of other Magoo's new scores. My new recruit. This is my way to get Sheldrick's score. Bins. Jackson Bins. Binsy. He's now, good. he's got 128. This is coming off 112, 126, 123, 104, 71, 115, 117, 117, 138, 105, 91. Right, I get your point. I got your point. I got your point. About 700 in. Yeah. Will he get a game for the Blues at any point? Oh, right? they must be travelling very well, dog, if he can't get a game. <laughs> Seriously, there's been a lot of um, Carlton supporters calling for him to get a game. So you would think... Can he do any more? That's the question. No, he, he can't. And the worst thing for uh, people wanting him to get a game is the fact they actually got a win on the weekend, yeah. which is rare. Oh, the uh, Hawks were coming back. <laughs> they were, weren't after they? After not kicking goal in the first half. That what was they bad. Mm. I think they kicked the first three or something yeah, then after that, didn't they? Um, although, I can get excited about Bin scoring that 128, thinking he's a chance, but Paddy Dow scored 119 in that game, so... Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you saying? Points were easy to come by. Maybe. Oh, uh, come on. James Jordan. <laughs> he was uh, in the Magoos and scored 157. He did what? Big score. 41 jeez. disposals did that. Now, here's one that might interest yes. you, Roy. Yes. Tristan Cherry. Who? Old mate X Airy. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. He's a couple of weeks back now, I think. Yeah. Um, 135 he scored, 26 he disposals, six marks, six tackles. Now, they wanted him as their number one ruck, yeah. round one. Okay. For, for good reason. Now, really. that Goldberg was mm. subbed out. Yeah, cooked. Could yeah. this happen this week? And could it, therefore, happen in your team? <laughs> no. Come I on, think, Roy. Come on, Roy. Oh, I might do it. Look, no, I'm you've not been doing to it. the island. I have. And I loved the 15 minutes of it, too. Yeah, it, it was, was a great little island. It was a great ride. He's one of the best points per minute in the comp. I think he remains that, does he? He'd have to be up there. He'd be up there. <laughs> um, yeah, no one's going to pass that, are they? Now, the thing is, I reckon they'll play them, the pair of them. Okay. Because ex Airy, he, he racks up 26 disposals. He's a very versatile big unit. But no, dog, we're never going there. Not going back to the island. I'm not going to the island at this time of year. Hey, that's a cow move. I'd, <laughs> I'd consider it. The only other one I want to mention there was Elijah Sardis. Um, he's coming. He's going all right in the Magoos. 125, that was Essendon's first round draft pick. 33 disposals, eight tackles. But midfielders at the Bombers, like they're actually holding out good walk-up 22 players. Yeah. So I don't think he will be there for us. This month, all kids 14 and under get to go to the footy for free. Look, a tiger. Selfies and screamers. Mmm, that looks tasty. And you never know who you'll meet. Oh, so fluffy. Kids go free round 16 to 19. Awesome. See you there. All right, so we talked about, Cal, you, how you came out of the buys with your team, how many rookies you got on field and yep. things like that. You still scored well. We could have scored better. Oh, yeah. yeah. But always... your rookies weren't the issues, really. No, the they weren't. The, like no. the, the ones that you have on field, if you had three rookies on field mm. and they were Ashcroft, um, Johnson and Sheldrick. Yeah. Yep. They would have averaged. They, would, yep, they, they were yeah. good enough because I reckon there would have been, you would have nearly had those three the, scores coming from other that. players that you called premiums. Yeah, definitely. The problem is the players we looked at through the buy period, yeah. to save us yeah, or to get us through. Now, Lockie Neal would be the only one, I reckon, that you could probably tick off exactly. as a success story. Mm. Everyone got him yeah. at a nice, cheap price. Other people, like myself, were jumping on Hayden Young's. Matt Rouse. Matt Rouse. Oh, Matt. 
that. And they just haven't been good. Now, Rao did get a 95, saved himself late with a couple of snacks. Fairini's been good the last two weeks as well. Fairini, Atkins, all yeah. these guys that we were like, we just need you to help us out a little mm. bit. Mm. And they offered nothing. No. So that definition, I guess, of rookies on field. See, I'm not including Sheasel there in that conversation. No, he doesn't care. He can no. sit there as a D6 100%. for anyone that has got him there. Um, but looking at some things and looking at coaches, now, old mate Heth from the Keeper League did actually tweet this out this morning. So uh, interesting to see for uh, teams that are right up the top end, so not us, um, was basically in the top 100 he had – Rookies on field in the top 100. So he's defying that anyone starting at under 300k. So that does include Sheasel yep. as well. Um, only 15 teams out of the top 100 have no rookies. There you go. 46 have one rookie. Now I'm going to assume... Yeah, that's a Sheasel. That's a Sheasel. Mm. Yeah. And then 33 have two rookies and six have three rookies on field. So okay. if you've got a couple... Mm. That's all right. It is. And that would be <coughs> almost the position I'd like to be in at the moment. Yep. Just yeah. having one... Let's call it Ashcroft in the midfield at... M8, yep. and then Sheldrick at F6. Okay. And then with the idea that I've got a Johnson on the bench in the midfield and also a Wind Hager in the forward line, which I can be looping there, and we'll get to some looping yep. in a moment, but that would be a 100%. nice position to be in, I think. So when my when I've decided my team's sort of just in no man's land and sucking, I get enjoyment out of trying to get all my rookies off the field. It's yep. a little game within yeah, a game that not? you play – However, the big question is now, can you go backwards from that given the form yeah. of some of these yep. rookies? Like Sheldrick's role and time on ground increase, for example, he's now a justifiable F6 over some of the non-rookies yeah, that we yeah, are yeah. playing, whether it be because of our flexibility, maybe in the forward or back line. Yep. I think it's a – you can. You definitely can. Mm. But at the same time – you need to be treading with a lot 100%. of caution. 100%. It could because blow up at any time. I look at someone like a Matthew Johnson, 87 last week, did it in 64% yeah. of game time. Yeah. At what point – even Wardlaw was great last week, but a couple of games before that he had a dirty 30. Yes. So it will backfire at some point. Big time. These rookies cannot just keep pumping out 90s and 100s no. for us every week. That's where, I thought, having crash. The That's where I thought Sheldrick could have had – you know, his little crash yeah, this yeah. week against the Swans, but... He just looked outstanding against, um, too, didn't he? Against Cats, sorry. Yeah, 100% it could have. So it will happen at some point. Yeah. You can play that game, but understand that it is dangerous territory. Yes. Don't go whinging you can't and complain. crying. You can't be a whinging pom about the... Um, yeah. No. ...about any of that, which I tell you what, they'd be loving some of this conversation about taking rookies on field and loopholes and stuff. Too right, they would. Moment. So that's where we walking need to through, get to the next conversation. Walking through the yeah. long the room. The gentleman's agreement. I know. Because so the cricket last, the where cricket last night. Yes. How good was it? Oh, it was an amazing game. It was just the third or like, But we're looking at <laughs> that catch that was clearly a catch. Yeah. And we're looking at the run out, which was clearly a run out, right? Well, they were both got correct him. decisions according to the rule book. Right. Yeah. And that got us thinking about the way in which we play this game. Yes, because people were angry that that was not cricket. Well, the run out. Gentleman's I, agreement. And I'm going to put it to you guys that loopholing yeah. is not fantasy. Right. So what would but you like to see? But it's in the rules. Well, I'd like to see just for one round this week maybe, yep. we all just play fair. No <laughs> looping, no vice captaining, just, just play a straight bat. Okay. No. Yes. I, I could do that. I'm a gentleman. And that's it. I think, but if we make an agreement across the whole community that we all just do it for one week, yeah, just to sort of shove it up the palms, right? <laughs> then I think, but if we all agree to do it, then it's fair. Right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you <laughs> can take every little bit of advantage you can get. It's, in the, it's within the rules, Calvinator. But it's, it's cheating. Yeah. It's just not cricket. Now, I cheated <laughs> on the weekend, right? I don't like this. Okay. I'm a gentleman. I yep. don't like doing this stuff. And I actually copped a bit of backlash because I changed my trades. All right. You did now, what? The thing is, though, like, we can't be the only ones that can't use the update trade button. Like, that's, yep. that's, that's a thing. But let me go through this. So, given the state of the game at the moment and the way it's played, you have to – you have to work on the fly because of these bench 
options like Sheldrick scoring well. So this is this is what I did. So I was originally on Thursday, um, Friday morning when we put our video out. The trades I was doing, Rao to Crouch, Yo to Himmelberg, right? Okay. So that those guys combined two thirty one. They would have been both very good trades, mm. but because Sheldrick went well with ninety three. My thought process was I can play that instead of Himmelberg, who, you know, yeah, yeah, shouldn't yeah. be too much more or less than that, and then go yo to Dawson because I was struggling for a captain option and I thought he would be pretty safe. So that netted, in the end, two points less. Okay. All right. Yep. So I lost two points for the week, but it got me over 400K this week to fix problems. Yep. So that's that pivoting on the fly yeah, yeah, based yeah. on a dirty rookie score, which I broke the gentleman's agreement and just um, did a bit of a switch. So I'm just going to put on the record, this week I will not use a vice captain and I will not loop. You're a liar. No, I'm not. What, you, because you're going to put your vice captain on Taranto and he's going to fail again? No, how dare you oh say that? Is that where you? No, why that do where you not going? like Taranto? Have you not enjoyed his season so far? I loved it, but I just don't like you telling me to make him my. I, vice I captain just think. I just think. Where I could have used that on someone. I, I, look, I've been watching the cricket, and I was just appalled with the sportsmanship. <laughs> Okay, God, you're so wrong. this you week are, you would be that pompous old man in I the long there, room. I reckon I was a crack disgusted at yeah. in their behaviour. Yeah. I so. I was disgusted in the language and the. Flow on yeah. effects. Yeah. And that made me wake up this morning and mm. go, you know what? We're going to play this game the right way. Yeah. This We're going to play fair. This is coming from a bloke that bowls bounces at your bloody nine year old son. Too right. In Gotta the learn, backyard. Learn the short ball, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Body line series, every series. <laughs> you, you are the biggest cheat out of everyone. I have had my moments, yes. Uh, you ever seen me play golf? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I've seen exactly. you win tournaments. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, tell a story about that. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the problem. Need a whole I, podcast series I used to for love that. playing, like, pennant. Yeah. So, God, back when I was... so bad. You should not be able to sleep. I wouldn't though, go like. on record saying this. You'll get stripped of your little flags. Oh, I've had heaps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, just doing <laughs> things to the opponent's ball, um, looking after mine in particular this is ways. proper competition. Hey, Got a win's a win. Win's a win, and sometimes actually, you've got to push the game to the limit. I'm actually surprised you don't have a hole in one, <laughs> to your name. I've got a lot of close ones. See, I haven't lied about that. No. That's fine. I haven't no. got a hole in one yet. But you know what? Maybe next time I go golfing, I just might get one yeah, wrong. with the help of the little bit off the instep. <laughs> your brother's got a hole in one, though, hasn't he? You uh, should yes. tell that story to Chop us. Chop has got a hole in one. He hasn't told us for a long time about <laughs> no. his hole in one. No. <laughs> I reckon we'd hear it's about story. that It's a good story. It is. Uh, righty-o, so... Um, oh, well, changing plans. I did the same, actually, oh, yes. because I had um, – I was always taking Ashcroft. That was always part of the plan. But I kind of only really had one guy, and that was Drury, to be able to take the take the score. And I had Sheldrick on the bench. Now, I probably should have been smarter thinking about – well, no, I did think through it. I played Windhager over Sheldrick, thinking Windhager had the better matchup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was just a – He was looking good. The co- toss of the coin at the end of the day with that. And – Got it the wrong way, but when he puts a 93 there, you go, oh, is there a way to take it? Yeah. And I did it by getting in that Jackson bins, which meant that I got Doherty as a premium upgrade oh, yeah. rather than going, uh, you know, a not-so-premium guy in Himmelberg. Yeah, because so, I don't love what we did. I don't like bringing in a no. red dot. And if someone probably just said it to me on the fly, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. well, don't I'd be doing that. I didn't like it at all. But then I kept – actually, the thing that made my decision with that too is – the big scores that were out there. Yeah. And I was yeah, going, okay. what happens if Himmelberg pumps out a 70? And I'm yeah. like, those 20 points could have been... Just, thing yeah. And even, even at the end of the day, I got an extra 20 points out of mm. Doherty plus the 93 yeah. Yeah. by that decision. So. At the end of the day, did it really help you? You're still in the green vest. <laughs> you, as I said before, if I had a captain, I would have beaten both of you guys. Once again, you did have a captain. Yes, you, just chose you gave me a VC that scored me an 80 and a captain that scored me 85. No, I gave you a captain that would have scored you 108, That's but you ignored it. Are you going to follow Cow this week? So no, you, I'm going to go and find these other <laughs> guys out there that make... So you can go to bed tonight and go to sleep on your bed of lies, right? Oh, but <laughs> pot kettle. That's like. very true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right. 
Yes. Let's look at some of the um, guys then to bring in. So we did talk last week about the Rolling 22 that we created. Oh, I saw it. How bad Boys. was it? Hat- did, did I go okay? okay? Yes, did I go okay? Yes. Yeah, right. It shows you guys obviously listen to some things I say. Because I used your list to help me. Oh, so you you did exactly what these <laughs> other people did. Oh, I'll wait and see what, Roy what his did. genius criteria have pumped out and then just flick a couple around. You did some disgusting things to it, though, to be honest. Did I? That one made me angry. That's Sarong. Oh, yeah, okay. And he owns him. That's what makes it... It's like he it's wants to rocket. keep him to himself. Yeah, no, it's you not. Do not rock it within the Rolling Twenty Two. Okay, right. That is not the platform. Well, you've to do never it. done that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, <laughs> good I'm rocket. allowed to. Good rocket on the weekend too, by the way. Oh yes, that, that was, was much needed. That was an elite rocket. The community really um, appreciated that one yeah. because that was just a disaster so early in the round. Yeah. Tom Stewart, of Tom course, Stewart. we're talking about. Um, just briefly on that cow. I mean, it was a dirty rocket, but they're the best ones. You've got to wait till half time and yeah. they're seated, so you're never going to miss once they're in their seat. Nailed it. Bang! Boned in. <laughs> uh, now, some of the players that people are bringing in at the moment. So we'll look at some of the names. We'll talk about them in, you know, we'll talk a little bit of detail. And Harry Himmelberg is in there as one of the most traded in players. Fair. Are we all okay with that? Yes. He's still value. Yeah. So what did he score? He scored 94. But, Cow, did he slow down? You picked 10 up, points in the last quarter. Oh, and so with me patting myself on the back for the Stuart Rocket, yep. I apologise, I did reverse rocket him. Because, <laughs> oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, I was, yeah. I couldn't have him going um, too big. Because the conditions didn't suit. No. It was uh, wet and cold. Yeah, it was horrible. It was cold. And your parents Dude. were there. Two half time, then they left. What did old Raymond That's say? That's why the Berg slowed down. Yeah. Uh, they weren't overly impressed. Did you talk actually. to Raymond about it? Nah, haven't spoke to him. Try to avoid talking to him as much as I can. To be honest with you. <laughs> He's a Melbourne supporter too, so he would have been devastated. He was great game, but um, great apparently game. the conditions were horrific. Does not suit the Berg. No. Um, He's just a good player though when he's down back. Yeah, and taking kick ins yeah. and yeah, getting it done. He's an elite kick. Yep. Uh, so tick picking yes, him up, break even of forty one now. The on. other, I guess, value one uh, similar to that was Scrimshaw. Scrimdog, yeah. So you've been talking about his um, run cow. Yes, I have. So the Hawks have a nice run for defenders. He's got a break even of thirty five. He's coming off an eighty three. Mm. So at five eighty k, you're picking Himmelberg over him. Yes, yes, but could he be an option for you? Yes, he could because in his next Six games, last week's matchup was supposed to be the worst. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's got GWS this week, North Melbourne, Richmond, St Kilda, who are still mega greens. Yeah. It, it sounds good. I just hope Sam Mitchell shows him the respect that he yeah, deserves. Yeah, that's he, the problem. he looks good out there, he but does. he's looked good before and been vested and dropped. He's a bit of a whipping boy, right? He is. Yep. While we're on defenders, the big dog's at the top there. Dawson is obviously the number one selection there. You picked him up, Roy. Did you have any worries about spending that coin on him? Because he's now up to $1.05 <laughs> yeah, million. Yeah, um, sort of. It's just righting your wrongs and what makes you sleep better at night sometimes. I, um, I've got now 430 k in the bank, so I uh, didn't really worry about mm. yep. the fact that he was a heap. Yeah, he's got a good run coming up too. Yeah, and so. I and one reason I paid up, I had no faith in, and I'm not trying to rub it in, but Laird as captain, so I was willing to pay up for a captain. Right. Well, when I'll someone sits, when somebody table. sits at number, <laughs> I wasn't five. having a crack. When when Laird sits at number five on the list, that's a fair way down. Fair so, way down. So you still yeah. thought he was going to be in the top five scoring players in the comp this weekend? Where would have eighty fifth rank him? Eighty five rank him? Have we got any other questions? Did I out. rank him real low? You suck at this. I don't. Captain picking. You just game. don't listen. All right. Callum Mills as a midfielder. So, so okay. Oh, jury's out. Here. I've had scored. Yep. Eighty-five from you know the time on ground was there, but the key was that he had the equal most centre bounces yep. for their midfielders. And I think that was it was his seventy-five percent. So obviously, um, what's his face? A Warner was out, and we'll be out for a couple more weeks. Mm. So. Can we go there? Because his price has, I'm going to say, gone very close to bottoming out. So he's 653. That is a ridiculous it figure. Is. You could be going Ashcroft down to him and make a point. Um, he's got a break even of 104. So he, 
He's not unachievable. No. Like, you don't have to launch this week, but can you? So, usually, I love a name here. And Callum Mills is a guy, if you close your eyes and think of Callum Mills, you see a little 110 next to him. You do. Because that's what you expect. That's what we got the last couple of years, didn't we? Yeah. But you could not... You could not go Ashcroft to Mills this week with Ashcroft playing West Coast. Mm. I, I just don't think Mills will outscore him this week. I'm not I'm not on this yet. I'm with you. Yeah. Like, he got outscored last week by Ashcroft, Johnson and Sheldrick. Yeah. They all outscored him. So why would you go, oh, geez, I need to get Mills? Because you're chasing a name. That's the only reason you would do it. The thing is, historically, good coaches have gone early. At this time. They go, right. They don't have to wait for the 100 or the back-to-back 100s. Yeah. Is he in a position where, dog, you can just go, nah, that 85, the 75% CBAs. There's enough. He's back. Oh, yes, I think it is. But you may not be chasing your Ashcroft to him, for example, at the yeah. moment. It might be going. See, I wouldn't be against a Johnson. To yeah, I'm no, okay with I, that. I would definitely be happy with I'm that. I'm okay with that. And it probably will depend on where your team's at. So if you've got – you've already dumped Ashcroft, you're probably playing a rookie in M8 like A. Johnson. Yeah, I would do that. You could do that one. Yep. Do you know my problem with it as well is I look at, like, say, my mediocre team and then I look at the teams pumping the two yep. sixes. They not. They don't have any little – they're not carrying a midfielder with a ceiling of about – 98 at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All theirs are going like 130. Where does it – it just doesn't yeah. feel like it gets you anywhere no. close to them. The other time that you can do it as well, I think, if you have dual position in your midfield, so if you had your key sitting there, you could be dumping dumping a Ford who – Yeah, like a Darso for yeah, me. Yeah, yep. Yep, mm. yep. Darcy to Mills, Makes I'd be you much happier like with Like 100K. That. A defender could work like that. If you were – Who's floating there? A Will Day, for example. Yes. So if you had a defender mid in the midfield, mm. you could do that. Yes. Yep. So there are there are plays there. What do you? The key question then, I reckon, because he's such a person of interest given mm. that price. What does he average for the rest of the year? Because if you're talking triple figures, it's a it's a massive play. So six hundred fifty k. His price. What's that? Mid eighties, low eighties, something mm. like that. Like he's putting fifteen plus points on that. Yeah. So you see him averaging a hundred? I think to the rest pretty of the close. Year. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think he will average a hundred. So why don't you think that? Because I've seen nothing that steers me in that direction. He had CBAs last week. Great. Well done, mate. He had time on ground. Well done, mate. That's fantastic. But you still only scored eighty five. I know. So last time he was playing, so only 70... scored two tons this year. Yeah, it's gross, isn't it? But last time. Oh, well, all of last year where he was playing like 75% CBAs, he was pumping out those huge numbers yep. in that role. It wasn't till the grand final and then all of this year that he started playing stupid yeah. roles again. Look, I'm happy to be proven wrong. And so what he's a guy s- that probably will. What we're probably saying, though, is that you don't like him because you don't think he's going to go big enough. At 650, how big does he need to go? I, I, but it's yep. just clogging that position is almost the other part of the conversation. I'm with you. He will be my team at some point. Mm. But at the moment, it's not. You don't have to go this way. You don't have to go this way. And I don't think you've even got to go next week. No. I've got, we've got guys in our team that are doing the same as him. Yeah. So why waste a trade in just what would end up being a sort? You're going on a, a hopeful, let's hope that he's back to doing what he was. Yeah. And I said last week. He played enough game time, he got enough CBAs, and he only scored 85. Whereas Parker gets a 107, Goulden 128, Sheldrick 83, 93. If you're a trigger-pulling coach, though... Yes. ...and you think that he's back averaging 100 after this point... Yep. ...it's a great move. Oh, I'm all for it, but yep. I just... We're there's a, bit, a couple of flags We're a bit there. soft. Yes, we are, we're soft. We have to see one or two. Now, yeah. just uh, a couple of other two value late. midfielders, which are a bit more than that. I'm going to go a bit higher to start with. Brad Crouch at 9.21. Mm. I think he's still – he he's nearly the guy to grab. Is he in your rolling 22? Yes, he is. Yep. So definitely in Calvin's rolling 22, or you're trying to trick people not to get him as well. He was in there. He was probably up near the number one spot. Right, there, dog. <laughs> right so he's value there. You could nearly even say Sarong at 9.41 is some value considering he's coming off that 134. Yeah. Um, I'll be very careful. Lockie Neal's under 900, so he's at 893. 
with that West Coast matchup this week. Are you concerned at that little attempted tag like yes, they did on yeah, Sinclair? Yeah, well, that's what they. Yeah, mm. he, he was. Well, he's the if Dunkley. Oh, it was a late in to do that as well. That's the problem yeah. that game. So, will he even make the team? Mm. And well, yes, because they they have no one else available. They just don't. Yeah, literally. So, so yes, he makes the team. team. Almost scored. They were, it was almost a mirror of the week before with what they lost by. Um, the other one that I was looking at, where's he gone? Uh, oh, Jack Viney. So, how he, good is he? He, <laughs> he does, does this. He does this, but he just doesn't do it consistently nah. enough. I think that's probably the. He's a draft king because he win your games off his so own. So, Jack Viney, right. he, if you're looking at a price, 815. <sighs> wow. With a 150 ceiling. So, yeah, 148. And he scores like. 95, 135, but then he had his run there of 73, 60, 63. Mm. Um, he has been better without Oliver in the team. Of yes. course. And Oliver probably comes in this week. <laughs> or allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> mm. So that's one there. Now, the other players, we'll go the forward line now, of where the discussion can go. Um, we sort of talked Himmelberg and Keys throughout the pod here. Mm. Liam Henry. Now, I think his price has got too much now at 583k, but his break even is eight. God. He's coming off 116 and 118. There's 72 the week before, but it's been those three games where he's had mm. that role further up the ground on the wing, essentially. Which we talked about in the preseason. Yep. yep. Um, we yep. thought might be an option. It I was think it's. Flagged. It was. I think we're just too far gone with him now. I just feel like it's not the right time. In the year, and he's a bit too expensive. And that Agreed. price is your rookie that you've probably got in Sheldrick or uh, even Windhager. Yep. You mm. might as well keep rolling with them. Is that the sort of idea I think around so. that? I think so. Agree. But, man, credit where credit's due. He's finally getting it done there. He is. Mm. Um, Half time of the Blues game, Cunningham. Yes. It's looking very good. Yeah. But he finished with a 74, which is very solid for his price. So mm. he's at 344 as a mid forward. Would he be, if you look, if you. Let's say you've missed these other guys and you don't yeah. have those. Would he be one that you look at even for bench cover yeah. as a 344k yeah. and as a looper that's going to play? Like he's obviously his second half wasn't great, but he's mm. been out of the game at the top level for a while. So what he scored, what he showed the abilities to score in the first half, he had a 60. Yeah, I think yeah. that's he's a great one to have in your looping options if you're still you know playing with that Sheldrick or Johnson or um, Windhager and you want to have two looks at it yeah a guy that can score 60 and a half yep. handy handy uh, in the mix and still with the guys under 300k if you're looking for one Ryan Marrick who was dropped and then came back in the side he kicked a couple of goals and scored 71 so his Good price effort. is at 273 how now. are they dropping someone that can do that I don't know <laughs> well, they near won that game jeez I wish that happened Imagine getting dropped when you've literally got two people Play, yeah. available. Um, Elijah Hewitt as well. So he's still cheap because he had those um, sub scores. So he's 269 as well. If you haven't got him, he's probably one. he's probably the one to grab for job security. You'd think so. And that ability to score as well, I guess. <laughs> if you are physically able to walk, you have good job security at the Eagles. <laughs> you do. You said he was good, cow. He was 65. good. 65. Yeah, he was yeah, good. He, 11, he looked good. Only had 11 touches. Yeah, he kicked a snag, didn't he? Yeah, two. Yep, good player. Great player. Great player. Mm. They're the guys. All right, that's where we're at with some of those. We'll probably answer a few in the questions coming up as well. But let's look at ha- But let's have a look at <laughs> the uh, most traded in players so far. Yep, the rage trades they would be. Elijah Hewitt sits at the top of the list because he's a rookie price player at under three hundred k still. Harry Himmelberg's there. Ben Keys, Jack Williams, who scored pretty well, and also Callum Mills rounding out that top five. A couple of the other players there in the top group, though. Sam Doherty is a defender. Um, Liam Henry, who has been scoring pretty well. Um, Josh Fay, I think everyone's still looking at him as an option. <laughs> yeah. um, could be a loop option Bargain for you if you need to as you a go. A loophole, not on my watch, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and the most traded out, Ben Hobbs, time to go. Who's still got him? Yeah, he goes for me this he week. Goes for you. He? Yep. So he's mm. the most traded out at the moment with Bailey Humphrey, Harvey Harrison, Will Day. And Matt mm. Fife, who is injured. Um, so Will Day's an interesting one. I he think that he day. is on a chopping block yeah. for a few people because you want a little bit more than that. And if it lets you, you get to someone bigger and better, uh, Kieran Briggs and um, 
Darcy Cameron are the next two off that oh. list. Oh, I contributed to that. Well, Roy, <laughs> tell us about your trades. Go. Okay, so I am getting rid of those two. Hey, hey, it's just disappointing that after averaging 100 the last month, you two pump out 50s. Yeah. They're both going. That's the whole and Briggs to English and Neil. Nice. Mm, two big upgrades. Cow, you said you were getting rid of Hobbs, the most Hobbsy, traded out player. Hobbsy and Matt Brown goes for me, and I'm bringing in Roy Keys, mm. and I'm in the gang. What? Bot and Pilly! <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm getting rid of... He's been a serviceable guy. Andy McGrath. No, he hasn't! <laughs> round 17. Andy McGrath goes to Harry Himmelberg. <laughs> spending the cash that I got last week to go Will Day to Jordan Dawson. So oh. I'm joining that oh. gang and spending over a million dollars on a guy. Doesn't matter. That's worth it, mate. He might as well be my captain. There yes. you go. I'll be the judge of that oh, one as well. well. Will you let me have him? Will you give him a, as a uh, tip to me? Oh, I'll let you know. Got to crunch the numbers first. Yeah. Got a question for the traders? Tweet the boys at AFL Fantasy or head to facebook.com forward slash AFL Fantasy official. All right, quick look at some questions here before we wrap things up. Don't forget, at AFL Fantasy on Instagram is where you can uh, hit us up with some questions as well. Lots come through there. Um, right, let's get started. First one comes from Noah. Is it time for Will Day, Darcy Cameron, or Rookie Johnson to go? All right, let's try to work out who you would be getting rid of out of those three. Oh, oh, I still feel like it's Johnson. It yeah. is Johnson. Um, mm. Can we just say on your mate uh, Darcy, yes. Darcy Cameron, I'm assuming that's Darcy Cameron. Yes. Yeah. Um, good matchup this week against Tim English. He does. And that doesn't yeah. sound right, no. but Ruckman usually have a big score against him. The eye test that Dog and I talked about last night when we were um, Talking mentioning through, this, yep. yeah, is that Cox looked to be taking yeah. way more ruck than okay. has happened I'll crunch some numbers after that. Oh, yes. It's still looking about normal. Was it? I think he was just beaten. Just getting flogged in there. Yeah, mm. even though, and it didn't really matter because the Pies were winning. Mm. But, geez, you can't have a bloke scoring 50. No, but if you have to... Well, in yeah. this scenario, so then, but then is that should, there? He should get Johnson an goes first. Plus. What if he's trading two? Will Day and Darcy Cameron. Who goes first? Will Day and Darcy Cameron. Oh man, I'd still go Cameron out first. Then. Yeah, I think Cameron gets you probably to someone you don't have that you'd want more than what Day Will Day would get you to. Yeah, I I, I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, rightio. Uh, Legends, can you tick off Briggs to English? Yes. yes. And Rao to Mills? Interesting. Yes. I, I think can. that's a tick. Yes, this is, is where a Mills situation. you're getting the coin situation. from Rao. Yeah. Yeah. This is where, that's where a Mills trade works. Yeah. yeah um, that's fine. That's, that's where I half considered that last week. Yeah. The um, Rao down to a Mills. Yeah. Banks you the cash that would actually let you do an upgrade. And then that's getting English. Yeah. You have to have him. He's still rolling right. all right, is he? Yes, he is. God, I'll, I'll bring a hammy out of him, I tell you. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, please don't. <laughs> you guys can find out what it's like to trade in the ruck department. <laughs> it's been a while, actually. It's not good. Sit oh. and forget. Oh, um, Jack Rooney, Liam Henry or Himmelberg? That's the Berg. That's Himmelberg. It is. It's easy Berg for me, though. Yeah, it's an easy Berg. Mm. All right. So he's got Hawthorne at home this week. You'd think that would be a good little matchup for him. I reckon. Yeah, it's a 95 to a ton coming. Mm. Yeah, so him will, uh, Liam Henry, this is from Isaac, is he a snag or yep. are we hyping him up too much? Too much. I don't know if he's been hyped because we flagged him. But he's had two big games. Yeah, they are good. And he's obviously got a hot wing at the moment and wings can go very cold very quickly. I assume but, other people have hyped him. We but, haven't hyped. Mm. No, we just mentioned he's had two good games. Yeah. And he's, he's too much now anyway. It's a no. He's, he's not. I've already said no to it. He's not too much, but I think your circumstance, it would only be limited circumstances to grab him. That's probably the best way to say okay. it, I reckon. And when your team's as good as mine, <laughs> it's a no. I'm on the record as saying no for me. No, okay, no. rolling 22 question. It's not this week because Sick Dog's still got another week to serve, doesn't he? Uh, I think so. He's a bad yes, dog. He's he does. Dog. He has got another week to serve. <laughs> Sick dog or Doherty for the run home? Who would you prefer? Doc. You want the Every dog. Every day for you me. You do, but remember Who's when... Who's going to score more in the games that they play? <laughs> okay. Sick dog. Nah, Possibly. Nah, he, but, uh, he can. He will outscore him a couple of times with thumpers, yes. In about three... In but round, how many more games does Sick dog miss then? Miss he he won't miss. He's learned. 
You think? Yeah, he's twice. Like, he's been in, in the pound. Two games. Yeah. <laughs> thing is though, remember when Sick Dog went um, did the naughty thing the first time, right? Yeah. And we were like, in round nineteen, we're probably going to want to consider it because yes. his run from round nineteen onwards yeah. is delish. So, and here I was thinking he would have played up until that. Yeah, round. No. He's now probably not match fit. Yeah, <laughs> Campbell <laughs> Stuck Brown. In his cage. Not the real Campbell Brown, I don't reckon. Well, Tipping is probably a common name. He's probably real. Is yep. Flanders a potential trade-in? So, you, Dog, you're a Fra- Flanders lover. I like Flanders. Right, talk us through. Why do you like him? Oakley doakley. Um <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> probably your highlight <laughs> of the year. <laughs> well done, Dog. Cut that up. What minute was that of the that, podcast? Right. Flanders. Keep that. Wow. 531K. So, he went up a heap this week. Yeah. Went up 41K mm. because he went 101. Off the back of his 94, after a big stint in the VFL, yep. racking up in the VFL. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is probably like your Liam Henry one. Can you Cheaper trust... Cheaper than Liam Henry. I would trust Flanders... Same. ...over Henry, I think. Yes, I Because I think he was more that half forward, had some midfield time sort of thing, and just ran, and he worked hard. I mean, he's another guy we talked about to keep a close eye on yep. in the preseason. 27 disposals, six marks, four Have tables. we not, not like learned that. our lesson from the Gold Coast And that's Suns. the other That's issue. the problem. That is a, it's a huge legitimate problem. problem. They have burnt us Every so time. badly yep. this year. So Again, um, but I'm still Flanders over Henry, but I'm, a, I'm not huge on either of them. No. Julian wants to know, are you getting rid of Hobbs or Cameron first? Cam, so, oh, do you have Cameron? Yeah. I do. I'm in that spot. I will be going Hobbs. Um, as I said, I like Cameron's matchup this week yes. against English. Yes. I think he can be a 95 plus. I don't think Should Hobbs be. can. So yeah. Hobbsy sort of pushed out as well. Like the Bombers midfield is, as I've said a lot of times, Here we very go. stacked. Very stacked. I felt for you the other night, dog, when Houston no, got under that rocket. <laughs> no, you didn't. Don't lie. It's funny, though. <laughs> so last week, dog. Um, Hobbs had 58% of the CBAs the week before 26. So he was really? actually in there more last oh, week oh than he was in round 15. Right. So maybe he's not pushed out. So he ranked behind, obviously, Parrish and Merritt. He was he was the third banana. Banana? He was the third banana. Mm, the old banana. And then Caldwell was the fourth banana. Yeah. There you go. thing is, Hobbs, how, he's, he's a little pig the way he plays. He, he wants the ball and... He probably forced his way into that midfield. Probably. Yeah. He bullied people he's out just, of there, He's reckon. probably just, now when you look up and see Merritt and Hobbs, now you see Merritt, then Parrish, yes. then Hobbs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Parrish is just getting back into it as well. He is. He looked pretty good, mm. as much as I hate to say it. Uh, who goes first, Day or Daniel for Bo? Well, Daniel, this is Okay. Yeah, I know. CBAs. This is Bevo 101. Yes. The day he says he's had enough can't come soon enough because his CBAs went down to zero when Daniel had just been on a hot streak. So he had zero this week, yep. 41% the week before, yep. then 6% before that. So you just don't know what you're going to get, mm. which is why he can go. He has to. So that was out of him and Day, wasn't it? Yep. So days fluctuate a little bit as well. Yep. Not Not that extreme. What I like about Day is he still had his 26 touches. Yep. He had a season low one tackle for some unknown reason. Yeah. He needs his three or four tackles to get to that 90 plus. I'm keeping Day. Yeah. So he was down to 54% CBAs, a big drop off from his team high 83% the mm, week before. Bizarre. Uh, Johnny wants to know, uh, not best though, who walks with, no, who goes first between Walsh and Steele? I've had enough of Jack Steele. Yeah. I've had enough of his name being mentioned in our work that we do. Yeah. Because he's just meh. He's value, if you want to pick of him. Of course he's value. Next For year. a reason. What about Walsh, though? What's he done? He's, Has yeah. Walsh done anything that's given you enough to like about him? Uh, I like a lot about him, but not as better. far as picking him up. Um, he had a 90. It's just it's So just his not run has need. gone 90, 82, 91. Yeah. 55. Time on ground's low by his standards too, isn't it? He had a 79%, but they've just been that low 80s the last couple of weeks. And he's a guy that can be doing 90. So the problem with him. uh, No. How's he score 90 when Akers, Doherty and Chera all score over 110? Okay. What we have to remember is he's actually coming off 
back surgery. Spinal. And if you're not aware, that is spinal. Spinal. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I think a little bit of leeway in terms of, in terms of, terms of criticism. However, no, we're not picking him up. But I'd get rid of Steele before I'd get rid of Walsh. Agree. Muni, g'day legends. Keep up the top shelf work. Thanks. At this stage, I'm happy to play loops and field two out of Ashcroft, Sheldrick, Mitchell Johns, a bit of that conversation we had before, yeah. for the next fortnight. So sort of banking himself in for a couple of weeks. Now, ranked outside the top 1,500, so doing pretty well there. Mm. Should I prioritise English to Wits or Lloyd to Dale slash Duggan? You lost me at oh. looping. Okay. All right. Cheating, did you Trade say? then, Cal. Right. Would you go Wits to English or Lloyd to Dale or Dung at Duggan. Got to go to English. Lloyd's bad. Is he that bad? He he was he has. But been the bad. names you're getting in for that aren't great. Yeah, Lloyd's want... become a seventy guy, but he's not upgrading to someone you need. No, you, you need have. English ASAP. Yep. Uh, Chilo wants to know who goes first out of Day, Steele, and Cameron. So we sort of said Cameron and Day. Did we choose Cameron out? We did, didn't we? Yes. Cameron goes before day because of who it might get you to. I think so. But then I also think back to, if you compared the last five, yeah, probably four weeks, I don't know if we went early on that. Cameron should be back. He just looked ridiculously bad in that match. Well, the big wits beat him up. He did. So So he should have a good draw, though. That's nice. That's true. No, we'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. Yeah, anyway. So then to still go before Cameron. Because that God. means you're probably getting to a better midfielder. Yeah. Or do you just keep trying to back in Jack Steele? I don't think you can back him in. We've backed him in enough. Mm. Have, have we not learned a thing, Roy? So are you really saying hold Darcy Cameron on the back of his 58 over Jack Steele? Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm about to tell you why. So the last two Ruckman that have gone against Tim English. Sick, this whole scenario. Yep. The last two Ruckman against English. Sean Darcy has a 126, and, and before that was Goldstein, Ooh. top scored for North mm. with a 102. Now, mm. that's North Melbourne. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Uh, it, and the run, it goes back further than that. Every ruck scores well against him. He turns up this week. Yeah. He'll turn up this week. If he's in there enough, which, Dog, you said we still had that 75%, you yeah. thought. Yeah. Oh, well, that is enough. Well, I'm looking at his CBAs now, and it wasn't quite that. But it might have been hit out. So, percentage-wise... Darcy Cameron was 54% in there last week. Cox was 38%. Yeah, because he just wasn't up to it. No. I think he'll be back this week. Yeah, you would think so. Yep. Um, Because his confidence got so depleted, it looked like, getting smashed. There was even one time Wits had a corked hip and couldn't jump, and he just towered over him. Yeah. So his his tackle count was down, his marks were down, because his confidence was – it looked down. Okay. You think it bounces straight back? I think it bounces back. Okay. Last question here from Alex. Mate needs help with captains. VC Dunkley into Laird. Hmm. Doesn't listen to Calvin. Someone help. Doesn't listen. It's not sent by me either. Just quietly. Who, why wouldn't he? Why would they do that? At no point. At no point did I recommend Dunkley. He wasn't even in the top ten. Oh, my God. But your captain, you did recommend Laird. He was in your top five. I've got four people ahead of him. Let's go three. <laughs> Let's see who Calvin stuffs us up on Thursday night with <laughs> for AFL Fantasy Live on AFL.com.au and the AFL Live official app. 6.15. We'll be live ahead of the footy. We will. Which 7.20 game, mate. 7.20. Uh, Richmond and Sydney. Beautiful. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.